Hello everyone, this is Dr. Carolyn Maria, working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education, Chennai. The title of the course is Environmental Education. In this video lecture, we are going to see Unit 4, Environmental Policies, Protection of Environment. We will be learning about the different environmental programs like Environmental Legislation Act, Rules, Notification, National and Regional Green Tribunals, Pollution Control Board, International NGOs on Environmental Protection, Environmental Foundation for Africa, Wildlife Fund for Nature, Conservation International, Greenpeace, Na International Union for Conservation of Nature. Environmental law is a broader category incorporating both resources, law, and law of pollution control which regulates the human environmental impact. The law ensures proper segregation, collection, storage and treatment of disposal of solid waste through the formulation and adaptation of best eco-waste products. Environmental lawyers can challenge the water quality issues, land issues, nuclear waste at power plants and also counsel the municipalities, manufacturers or developers on how to minimize their environmental impact. The six laws related to environmental protection and wildlife are the Environment Protection Act 1986, Forest Conservation Act 1980, Wildlife Protection Act 1972, Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974, Air Prevention and Pollution Control Act on 1981, and the Indian Forest Act 1927. What do you mean by National and Regional Green Tribunals? The National Green Tribunal has been established on 1810-2010 under the National Green Tribunal Act 2010. India being the third country following Australia and New Zealand for establishing the National Green Tribunal. The National Green Tribunal is established for effective and expeditious disposal of the cases related to environmental protection and conservation of forests and other natural resources including enforcement of any legal right relating to environment and giving relief and compensation for the damages to the person as well as the property. And it is a specialized body equipped with necessary experts to handle all the environmental legal cases and solve all the environmental problem cases. What is Central Pollution Control Board? Central Pollution Control Board has a full-time nominated chairman with the specialized knowledge in environmental protection and his main duty is making appointment for various work and the structure of the board has five central government officials, five state board members, three non-officials, two representatives from central government and one full-time member secretary who is qualified in public health engineering and the bearing member secretary can hold the office for three years. What are the functions of Central Pollution Control Board? Central government and state government should come forward to solve all the environment related pollution problem, provide technical assistance and guidance to state board and industries, carry out and sponsor investigations and research on all kind of pollution, plan and organize training of persons with regard to control of pollution, Utilize the services of the mass media. What is State Pollution Control Board? State Pollution Control Board also has a whole time as well as part time chairman with a specialized knowledge, practical and administrative experiences and he too appoints all the other people for work and the structure reminds five state governmental officials, five representatives members for local authorities and uh, three non-officials, two representatives from state government companies and one full-time member secretary and the board members can 
uh, hold the office for three years. What are the functions of State Pollution Control Board? It advises the state government with regard to the matter all concerning with pollution, planning programs to prevent pollution, collect and disseminate the information, seek guidance and training, lay out as well as modify the effluent standard, then evolve economical trade effluents, evolve methods for utilization and disposal of treated sewage, and what are the powers of Central Pollution Control Board and State Pollution Control Board? Industrial houses specific concerned with any application form with regard to the pollution, the Central Government as well as State Government Pollution Control Board can take off any method of treatment and any time they can go for the inspection. And they can order the firm to execute any work or install any new machinery with the time limit and they can establish the lab to check the quality of the air, water and soil. They can collect, compile and publish technical and statistical data and they can obtain the information from the individual, take sample from any sewage, enter any premises, inspect the plant, record, register, document and conduct. And any emergency board meeting could be done and they can take a remedial action including the restraining and prohibiting the discharge of pollutants. And it can they can make an application to the court after detecting the offense. And they can stop the regulate, uh, regulation of water supply, electrical supply or any other services to be identified in the premises. And even after doing all that, if people are not obeying the court order, they could be given a punishment like 3 months of imprisonment or 10,000 rupee fine, additional fine of 5,000 per day. The person causing pollution could be given 1.5 year to 6 years of imprisonment and with the fee of 10,000 and additional fee of 5,000 per day. What are the international NGOs for environmental protection? The main reason for having all this international NGO are creating awareness among the public about the current environmental issues and solutions, involved in protection of human rights to have clean environment, protecting the natural resources and interesting the equitable source of energy, analyzing and monitoring environmental quality, Transferring the information through newsletter, brochure, article and audiovisuals. Organizing seminar, lecture, group discussion, promoting environmental awareness. Helping the villagers and administrative officials in preparation and application and execution of all the environmental related issues and solving the problem. What is EFA? Environmental Foundation for Africa. It is a non-governmental organization founded in 1992 with the aim to protect and restore the environment in Africa. It conducts environmental education awareness campaign, restores the degraded lands and conserved forests, minimize the impact of civil war on environment and equip thousands of people with agroforestry, conducting training program at the national, regional, international levels to build environmentally conscious society, to be motivated to maintain integrity in the nature in Africa. What is WWF? International Non-Governmental Organization founded on April 29, 1961, working in the field of biodiversity, conservation, research and restoration of environment, and reduction of humanity's footprint on the environment. It is the world's largest independent conservation organization with over 5 million supporters worldwide, working more than 90 countries, supporting 1,300 conservation and environmental projects around the world. It is a charity with approximately 60% of its funding from voluntary donations by private individuals and 40% of fund they receive from Netherlands and United Kingdom and the United States.
and the mission of WWF is to halt and reverse the destruction of our environment. CI Conservation International It is also a non-profit organization having its headquarters at Washington DC. CI seeks to ensure the health of humanity by protecting the Earth's ecosystem and bio biodiversity. CI's work focuses on six initiatives that affect human well-being like climate, food security, freshwater security, health, cultural services and species contribution. The organ this organization is also known for its partnership with the non-local government organization and indigenous people. Greenpeace. This is also a non-governmental organization with offices over 40 countries. The goal of Greenpeace is to ensure the ability of the earth to nurture life in all its diversity and focuses its work on worldwide issues such as global warming, deforestation, overfishing, commercial whaling and anti-nuclear issues. The global organization does not accept funding from governments, corporations or political parties relying more than 2.8 million individual supporters for foundation, foundation grants. Greenpeace is an independent global campaigning organization that acts to change the attitudes and behavior to protect and conserve the environment and to promote peace by catalyzing the alternative energy revolution, creating a global network for marine reservoirs, protecting the world remaining Asian forests, elimination of nuclear weapons, creating a toxic free future and campaigning for sustainable agriculture. The functions of Greenpeace are campaign to stop climate change, protect ancient forest, save ocean, stop whaling, say no to genetic engineering, stop nuclear threats, eliminate toxic chemicals, encourage sustainable trade. IUCN International Union for Conservation of Nature. IUCN was founded on October 1948 as the International Union for Protection of Nature and now it has been changed to IUCN. The changed its name of IUPN to IUCN in 1956 with an acronym IUCN and the uh, IUCN's headquarters is in Switzerland. The vision is the world that values and conserves nature. Mission is to influence the world society to ensure ecological sustainability. Almost 11,000 voluntary scientists and experts from 160 countries are involved in this IUCN. IUCN's work is supported over 1,000 staff and 45 officers and hundreds of partners in public, NGO and private sectors around the world. Wish you all good luck. Thank you for listening.